As many as 500,000 people have been forced to flee Iraq's city of Mosul after it became the second city to fall into the hands of Islamist militants. Thousands of Iraqi families, left homeless and scared, have fled to the Kurdish region in Iraq's north. There are many people lying dead on the streets, says this man. The Iraqi Prime Minister has said the government would arm citizens to fight the militants, who are believed to be affiliated with al-Qaeda splinter group, the ISIL. Troops were among those fleeing as hundreds of jihadists from the group overran the city and much of the surrounding province. Army forces are said to have thrown away their weapons, changed their clothes, abandoned their vehicles and left the city. Cars and trucks were seen queuing at a checkpoint on the boundary to the region. Police, military and security officials have said the insurgents armed with machine guns and rocket-propelled grenades had taken over almost all police and army checkpoints in and around Mosul early on Tuesday. Video filmed by the Iraqi military shows government forces on the city's streets exchanging gunfire with the militants. The capture of Mosul follows four days of fighting in the northern city and attacks in other towns. Footage posted on a social media site purports to show thick black smoke rising from buildings in Mosul, said to be a government building after having been stormed. Residents said jihadist flags were flying from buildings and that the militants had announced over loudspeakers they had come to liberate the city.